Hi, my name is Glenn Bass and I've been a family friend of the Daniels for 32 years now. And what a great honor and privilege. I met Uncle Keith Daniel at the age of six when my family got invited to an Easter convention by uh, another old friend of Keith Daniel by Loki Del Port. He was a pastor and he invited us and and on that Easter convention, Keith Daniel was the speaker and uh, he only could preach in English. And I, as a free state boy from South Africa, couldn't understand a word of English. Uh, only yes and no, but the questions never understood. But uh, on this convention, uh, we went to the services <clears throat> where Uncle Keith Daniel preached and I, I can remember all the sermons. He preached the Sermon on the Mount and he preached about David and Goliath and he preached about cling to the Bible, my boy. And, and, and a lot of sermons, great old sermons that you've heard probably in your life. And in those services, I, I as a six-year-old boy uh, that, was, that was made to understand English, uh, by the Holy Spirit, I was I, I became under deep, deep conviction through his sermons. And in the ch children's services, there was an opportunity given to the children uh, to, to, to give their lives to the Lord Jesus. And it was there on that convention that I have responded where I gave my life to the Lord Jesus. Through, through the ministry of Uncle Keith Daniel, where I came under conviction and also through the Ministry of Child Evangelism Fellowship. So I thank the Lord for that. On that same convention, Uncle Keith Daniel also uh, preached about the life of a missionary. And if God calls you to become a missionary, do not stoop to become a king. He quoted from William Carey. And uh, it was um, on that very convention, after I've given my life to the Lord Jesus, where I also received um, the deep desire to become a missionary. In the children's services, we listen to a missionary story of Nate Saint and Jim Elliot doing missionary work in the Amazon rainforest. And the Lord has laid on my heart to become a missionary. Um, and uh, about six years later, uh, of, uh, my daddy invited Uncle Keith Daniel to come and preach at our church in Bloemfontein in, in South Africa. And he went there and he preached wonderful sermons. And I was sitting every single night from Sunday to Sunday. It was uh, eight days uh, series of services, um, uh, Pentecostal services, um, a Pentecost week services. And it was so great. And I remember that he was, he was uh, he's, uh, sleeping at our house every night. I remember he slept in my elder brother's room. And uh, on that um, on that outreach, I, I, I remember I gave him a collected tithing that I've collected over a few months. He didn't want to take it, but I insisted. And I said to him, Uncle Keith, one day I will preach like you preach, and I will go to the same Bible college as you went to. Well, six years later, I went to the same Bible college as which he went to. And I remember I, I, I walked in my first class, and it was Uncle Keith Daniel that was our teacher on that for that week and he and he gave class on revival and uh, it was just incredible and wonderful uh, um, and and I became his, his son we were together in Bible college me and Roy Daniel and we became bestest best friends and my boy is named after Roy and Roy's boy is named after me what a great honor and privilege 10 years after my Bible college studies uh, we were on a convention in, in, in Amana in, 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 in South Africa and Uncle Keith, Daniel and, and my family, we were sitting around the table and I asked him straight forward, I said, Uncle Keith, were you the person that paid for my Bible college study fees? Because my parents wasn't able to pay for that and he said... <laughs> Ken, why do you ask me such a straight question? I said, well, Uncle Keith, I, I just want to know. I want to thank you if it was you. And he said, yes, it was them. So they paid for my Bible college study fees, and I was so grateful. And I, I said to him, and you, Uncle Keith, tell me your Bible college study fees. Who paid for that? And he said, well, 
let me tell you the story. And he told me the story that when he went to Bible college, his parents also couldn't afford to pay for that. And there was a lady that anonymously paid the, his Bible college study fees. And after a lot of years after he uh, finished Bible college, he went to the principal and asked the principal, Sir, who was the person who paid for my Bible study fees? It's been a lot of years that I've, that I've finished Bible college. Can you just tell me, I want to go and thank the person uh, in person. You know, maybe they are still alive. And the principal told him who it was. And he went to that town, especially drove to that town in the free state. And he, he came to a house and uh, at the back of this house, there was an old lady, an old man living in a, in a granny's flat. They rented out their own big house at the front and they lived in a granny's flat at the back. And he went back to that granny's flat, knocked on the door and there was an old lady sitting there, poor old lady. And uh, he said to the lady, are you such and such? And she said, yes, it's me. And he said, well, lady, I am Keith Daniel. And I found out by our principal that you were the person that paid for my Bible college study fees. And I'm here today to come and thank you in person for that. May the good Lord bless and keep you. And I want to do a prayer. And you know what? That old lady was my dear grandmother. Um, and uh, my grandmother told him uh, why, why she paid his Bible college study fees, when she was only a girl of 16 years old, the Lord had called her to become a missionary. But instead of going to Bible college, to Glenvar Bible College, where Uncle Keith went to, she instead got married. And she was haunted by herself uh, that she never, never, never went to Bible college and she couldn't stand it. And she said to the Lord, Lord, I, I, just, I, I just want to pay for someone uh, so that I can, so that this guilt will go out of my heart. And she called the Bible college and she said to the Bible college, I want to pay for someone that cannot afford it. And that was Uncle Keith Daniel. And you know what? She planted the seed. She paid for his Bible studies. A lot of years later, he paid for my Bible studies fees. And I also got saved through his ministry. What a great honor and great privilege. Let me tell you something today. Because of his faithfulness, I'm also in the Amazon rainforest doing missionary work here um, and I thank God for his influence. Um, he had a sermon and I, I believe all of you can remember that he said, I want to die climbing. It is my desire to die climbing. To be used of God is my desire. You know, and uh, all those wonderful sermons of Uncle Keith Daniel, I will never forget them. And it's a discernment that is echoing in me and in my mind. And all the glory be to God. No glory goes to Uncle Keith. He had a sermon that he said, do not touch the glory. And uh, we'll never forget that. So he, he wouldn't have wanted us to, to, to glorify him as a human being. Uh, he would wanted us to just glorify the Lord Jesus for keeping him faithful until the end. And yes, I don't understand why Uncle Keith Daniel, at a young age of 73, 74, has passed away. He was still so fit. I've said to many young missionaries, young pastors, young evangelists, I've said to some, so many people in my life, I dare anyone, I dare anyone to go and work and survive with Uncle Keith Daniel for three months. No one would be able. Even at the age even at the age of 73, he was still so on fire as that he was at the age of 25. And he was a man of God. And I thank God for such a wonderful and a great example that he's been to me and to a lot of us younger generation. And may we go on with that what he preached. May we ask the Lord for the, 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 the fire that Uncle Keith Daniel had. And uh, I know... His ministry will echo in eternity and also now will keep on echoing through our ministry that stays behind. And all glory be to God on I. It's such a great privilege to, to know the Daniel family and my deepest condolences and prayers for Samuel, Noel and Roy. May the good Lord bless and keep you and Auntie Jenny especially 
May the Lord Jesus comfort you and hold you in, the, in his hands. Amen. God bless.